Oh my God, I just can't believe that this is evening batch. A lot of people today, and still I think people are absent, right? Yes, it's a great achievement of Mr. Kaf. By the way, I I, I think uh, it's a, for the first time in one batch I'm having this many people. I'm is for a, a spoken English exactly, right? By the way, it's a part of you know advertisement. Hi everyone, this is me, Mohammed Kaf, greeting from Will Talk in City to offering this language. You know, we human beings are quite enthusiastic of having new releases. Uh, there is a very good word, ladies and gentlemen, that is citomania. Uh, when a person becomes citomaniac, he cannot control himself or she cannot control herself to eat new releases. I have seen many people when they go out of the doors, they try to have something. And especially I've seen girls, especially my sister, when she goes for shopping, more than purchasing anything, she eats exactly because she enjoys. Well, I am indicating you to understand really what should we eat exactly when we go out of the door. Well, the main indication is to talk about and discuss about with these legends people whether we should eat street food or not. Uh, excuse me, listen again what I'm talking about. I'm just saying that street food that like we go out of the doors we don't eat food from home but sometimes only because of having a deficiency of the time we actually have to eat food from outside and with the people living in uh, Lucknow city Uttar Pradesh we are bachelors sometimes we are unable to go at homes that is why we go at any vendor shop and we actually eat and sometimes it becomes harmful by the way i should not have a lot of lectures ladies and gentlemen let me go to people exactly the people are exactly excited to talk about it yes guys are you excited yes, sir. oh my goodness oh no 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 some people are not excited exactly are you excited yes, sir. okay so this team you guys are sitting to talk about street food should be not should not be banned and you people should be bunny. You are looking so angry to talk about. By the way, don't slap anybody, but clap. Don't slap, but clap. Okay, so I would like to start. First of all, let me tell you some terms and conditions at the time of talking. Please don't show finger and don't speak Hindi. Our motive is to make you speaker of English language and and a, a, a euphemistic as well in the language, right? So I would like to start from this team exactly, from the captain exactly. I'd like to go to Miss Sanaya and have opinion by her. What would you like to say, Sanaya? Uh, good evening, all of you. Uh, so uh, firstly, I would like to say that uh, uh, we, are, we are going to debate on uh, that uh, street food should be banned or not. So, uh, <coughs> according to me, it should not be banned because I think uh, when we feel very hungry, so we can easily go uh, and uh, eat uh, anything from the street because uh, they are they are also very affordable. Absolutely. And because uh, of that, the laborers who are uh, used to work in uh, who used to work, they can also eat. Who are unable to cook or on the they can eat the by the street food uh, uh, on day meal like they have to eat something so they can eat from there and um, in, because they are very affordable so mm -hmm. they can easily have that and uh, and they it also it, it, it somehow it is also eradicating the uh, unemployment wonderful points but I want to tell you one more thing I forgot to inform you exactly at the time of debates don't try to have many points when you have many points, a person who's a listener, he gets confused to ask the question. By the way, I think uh, Mr. Satyajit, you are the captain of your team exactly. You might have understood one thing. So he's trying to say that we can eradicate unemployment, right? And sometimes we become hungry. We have to go to the vendors and eat exactly because we students. What will you say exactly? And one more thing, now I have to be back exactly. Because I to मैं चाहता हूं कि आपके हाथ में हो ईमानदारी से यह बोल रहे हैं हाथ उठाए यह उनके पास चला जाएगा और यह मोबाइल एकदम बीच में रहेगा जिससे आवाज आती रहे अगर मान नहीं पहुंच रहा होगा तो यह थोड़ा उधर कर लीजिएगा मैं वहां पे पीछे पर रहूंगा एंड हो सकता कोई स्टक करेगा देन आई विल बी जस्ट सपोर्टिंग यू इग्नाइटिंग यू ईमानदारी से बोल रहे हाथ उठाना कि उनके पास चला जाएगा एंड देन यू विल कंटिन्यू विद दैट सो व्हाट विल बी योर ओपिनियन मिस्टर सचदेव प्लीज रिप्लाई हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज सत्यजीत एंड Today it's a debate session and I want, wanted that 
the street food should not should be banned because when we are hungry we go outside and is eat junk foods and street foods but we can't pay attention on our health because the health is the main, today the health is is a main problem for everyone so be being a healthy man be i think it should be banned so that we can be can be uh, be healthy and all right great one anybody who wants to have an input with that by the way anybody can has uh, can have a opinion as well if you want okay guys i think uh, the street food should not be banned because it provide a very uh, a good uh, and uh, uh, fresh food in a uh, low time uh, in a very small small uh, small time and uh, if it uh, actually everywhere you have a walking distance from your office from your school from your coaching and uh, you will get a very good taste and uh, you will feel like uh, energetic at that time and you you can continue your work so that actually helps to uh, sustain the what uh, and uh, you have uh, to uh, in your struggle and uh, everything like you are doing a job and you are a student you continue your job without going far away and paying uh, less uh, amount of uh, um, uh, bill uh, if you go to a restaurant you will have you have to pay uh, like a high sum of amount so it can be avoided with a uh, street food exactly so many vendors provide uh, adulterated things so what about you these things uh many vendors uh, as you said provide a related thing Th these uh, things are uh, checked on by the authorities in our uh, it's started actually like uh, if something is uh, bad is happening it uh, should be uh, banned and the uh, the cops are you know uh, actually they uh, become responsible for um, vendors become responsible for what they are doing if it's illegal the the cops uh, are handling that thing i think uh, street food quality uh, is questionable because they cannot use pure thing to make their food it is affected our health all right so according to me uh, fast uh, street food should be uh, should be not banned because uh, because if when i go outside and uh, other district then if i have no more time and i have not no idea uh, uh, how to make food and i have no option how to make uh, uh, food then uh, then i can easily go market and purchase street food and uh, many people <coughs> many people go out of city and uh, they have not time that time what to do uh, good evening all of you my name is amrita singh i am favoring that uh, street food should be banned uh, as your whole team like there are so many members said about like the uh, street food like a option for us so option is good or not it is it matters like uh, as sanaya said we can easily get street food in our in the very near 
of our home our uh, office so like our body is very precious gift which is given by god so what we intake inside it is it matters a lot so street food is option but it this option is good for our health or not this, this matters a lot so what you guys hello good evening everyone myself swani and i am discussing about the point that you guys should uh, say that uh, the food should be uh, adulterated and uh, uh, the unhygienic and uh, you know one thing the food is making on the front of your eyes and you should not see the food uh, of restaurants if if restaurants are making the food you can't see in street foods you see the making of food and uh, the whole process then there will be not a, uh, adulteration of any materials or something else wonderful good evening everyone myself karan uh, so my topic is uh, street food should uh, should be ban uh, should be I'm sorry, banned i'm sorry to interrupt you uh, i just want to suggest one thing try to clarify the thing which is being talked about yeah. if you keep on giving like uh, some like uh, tulsi give opinion and then you give opinion now she give opinion now you will be giving opinion so like this we cannot have you know actually exact answer of that so we also need to have answer of that like she had a really fantastic point you should answer i'm not saying you should not speak i'm saying that you should answer the thing that she's talking about sir, i will try sir so so obviously so we can uh, uh, we can see that the many vendors of street food uh, use use uh, msg means uh, monosodium glutamate it is the totally harmful for our uh, our uh, health so uh, it is uh, it is uh, it is banned uh, it is banned uh, so i think uh, um, uh, street food should be banned Good evening. Uh, actually, you said that uh, uh, every street uh, street food is unhealthy, but uh, not every food is uh, unhealthy. Uh, uh, like uh, we uh, we we eat a uh, idli, dosa, and uh, sprouts as well. Uh, uh, in outside of a hospital, we uh, we eat. Uh, vegetable soup and fruits also fruit salad what about this good evening everyone today i am going to support them street food should be banned you are saying that street food vegetables no, should actually not every food is unhealthy or uh, vegetables salad veggie he can use vegetable unhealthy because he can he can wasted vegetable and he can use and Great. you can eat then you can health is not happen actually suhani said that uh, in street food we saw the uh, preparing uh, fresh fr fresh so but us. yes but uh, in restaurant uh, outside like uh, in kitchen uh, nobody, sees. nobody sees what this, uh, pre they prepare great point do you want to clarify something like as you mentioned that uh, in street food we can see we, uh, in front of us like what what exactly vendors use in our food like street food we known as uh, other name fast food uh, anyone can tell us uh, tell me why it is called fast food actually uh, not every food is uh, fast food like street food uh, uh, we uh, we purchase from street uh, called street food not every food is street food uh, like fast food uh, you said fast like, food like uh, burger uh, chowmein pizza junk food fast food so uh, in uh, now in nowadays there are so many people addicted with the fast food 
uh, like junk food we wait uh, street food not junk food or fast food. yeah junk food is also come on street food as well so uh, fast food with fast food means like they make very fast and they use high flame they uh, cook on high flame so this is also a very uh, unhealthy for our health and they use a spray like uh, what kind of thing is spray uh, gas on the food uh, like direct on the food so this is also very harmful for our health actually uh, uh, people visit a restaurant uh, restaurant and uh, cafe also uh, eat uh, this type of uh, this kind of food so uh, not um, like uh, if you said that uh, street food is going to be a junk food or fast food and then nothing is else uh, that the menu should, uh, the menu is same the fast food menu and the in restaurant the menu is same is everything that uh, the outside you uh, eat uh, chowmin pizza burger is also in restaurant you eat chowmin pizza burger and you said that high flames or low flames spray gases and all about that uh, is also in a restaurant he also the chefs also do because you are uh, you have are less time uh, to eat you if you going to restaurant uh, you are not uh, not much time to sit here you also said that bhaiya jaldi le aao street food is uh, harmful for our health because uh, many types of many types of dust car dust many types of dust uh, flow and attach to the food we can't see we can't see this type of uh, this type of viruses bacteria we can't see of our naked eye that's why street food are very unhealthy because uh, in this era many cases of diabetes many cases of digestion many people are survive of uh, fatty uh, in uh, many in childhood uh, in childhood many uh, you uh, young young generation are fatty because fast food they eat uh, lots of fast food or uh, they collect on body or they harm us body uh, they can't uh, also uh, my, uh, also mind not fully growth because of uh, uh, harmful bacteria and uh, uh, and uh, or also street food have not uh, so many uh, so, uh, so many maintaining things uh, they should have they should don't have many facility uh, they uh, they can't wash her hands properly M many things are can't have st street food that's why it's very harmful for our health and uh, our health is the most important because when we are healthy when we are uh, when uh, when we are healthy my mind mind is work when mind is work we can earn money when uh, we can earn money when we live peacefully but uh, but my uh, health is not health is not uh, better what can we do and also traffic Ma uh, many many cases are found ki uh, uh, one cases uh, you listen a doctor uh, a doctor is always late because street food because uh, some street food is uh, is from side uh, up behind behind her house and uh, her house area is like a traffic she is frustrated because many patients are are lost her life very very rarely condition because of this that's why i can tell you street food not allowed it in a, in restaurant it is also happened because the, you you don't know the food uh, the food is proper prepared or not it is it is good uh, it is good or not or you know, you never know that the vegetables are clean are washed or clean they, you don't know about that yeah uh, first of all i would like to say that why you guys are comparing between street food and restaurant food we, we are we are not say that restaurant food is good so why you so all comparing are, between restaurant food and street food so if you, you are, are away from your home and you are hungry then where would you like to go 
if there is no uh, street food then they, you would head to the restaurant and you said we are not also supporting restaurant like if you are hungry where would you go actually if i am aware i provide all meal of mine okay but uh, for uh, for uh, like uh, if you are if you are away from your home and you are working in a uh, office and you just feel some hungry and you don't have lunch you that's why the street that's food that's why i am telling you if i am aware i provide my all lunch and all meal you should provide everyone not provide exactly but everyone is like uh, they uh, yeah. like bachelors they don't usually make uh, their meals at ho- at their like they don't have everything to make actually and they are uh, very tight on budget and uh, they are students so they actually they actually don't have time to make lunch and dinner for them actually or they just make only one time a meal for them and uh, in the other time they just use uh, street food uh, to eat actually so that's why it should not be banned because and uh, it actually uh, go with the flow like uh, you come to uh, you come to the office you uh, got hungry you go to the vendor and you eat you again come to the office you work you go to the home home and relax and everything like you don't have actually that much time to you you know go here and there and uh, like uh, don't have to waste your time actually absolutely i think we should change our points because again we are just going and merging the same points between restaurant street food and junk food now let us have some genuine points because some of the people i'm looking that they are sitting only right let us let us give chance to those people who are not speaking like abdullah san ankit badal akash manjesh these people are common here and susma has not spoken anything so who is going to give opinion i have told you one more time i'm going to tell you one more time that please try in your opinion at least have one or two points no, don't make it too lengthy otherwise people cannot ask you question they will get confused right not only here but also if you go anywhere if you want to have your opinion if you are giving if you are given chance you can speak 5 minutes then speak it but no in the counter question when the people are there then have more than two points more than one point just two points okay so is there anybody who who wants to say something okay ranu first of all give your opinion and everybody is good ranu son please come on ask a question uh, good afternoon good evening everyone my name is ranu sukla and according to me if you ban if you street food uh, banned and a uh, local talent uh, talent is a neglect if you t- great what a point man come on yes. and i am a uh, poor and i have a uh, no money uh, i i am i am not uh, open uh, restaurant but uh, i have a uh, very talented uh, girls and uh, she is a uh, very famous uh, dialogue uh, mba chai wala she is not a he, he is a not money and open a restaurant he is a little uh, bit money and open a rest, uh, open a uh, road street food he is a very uh, good i think so what about uh, people's health so what about people's health yes if someone if she cannot reply anybody can reply doesn't mean that kisi will speak anybody can say what about people's health because people's health, people's health. yes sir come on let's try who have not spoken exactly everybody should get chance to speak exactly good morning everyone good evening. good evening everyone sorry sir um if uh, we can use a uh, mark uh, marks ya yeah, gloves and sanitizer then then who enters via the gloves and mask uh, yeah. they, 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 they can be easily uh, hygienic, hygienic make hygienic food uh, using gloves right yes sir okay who's going to plan okay so much and uh, some poor people uh, people can some poor people have no job and uh, sir sorry they can start it they can start, can start it uh, okay. any vendor strike now yes sir. okay very good who's going to plan so much uh, according to me of 
फास्ट फूड शुड बी बैंड बिकॉज सी इट इज अ कंटेमिनेट नॉट कंटेमेटेड फूड द फिजिकल केमिकल एंड माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल फिजिकल कंटेमेटेड जस्ट लाइक टूल्स आर नॉट क्लियर क्लीन सर नाइफ हैंडल ऑफ नाइफ एंड मिडल ऑफ नाइफ हैंडल ऑफ नाइफ बेरी जंग अप्लाइड दे आर दे आर नॉट क्लियर डेली बेसिस एंड यूज द सोप एंड नॉट नॉट क्लियर वॉश एंड नॉट वॉश्ड guys her point was she was trying to say that if a person is using gloves like she was saying so there will be hygiene there's no problem right so what means of that anybody samraj has tried well anybody okay you want to say something sir as he mentioned mention if someone use gloves that means no one use gloves and the second second point of mine is everyone taking example of uh, employment like every vacancy held uh, medical so if your health is not good this is the again process of unemployment according to me <laughs> so what do you guys okay so small economy economy never is there civil tell about it <laughs> good evening everyone uh as you said india has a 5.5 million 5.5 million uh, street vendor so it uh, uh, it provide it is contributes 14% of the india uh, informal economy so it increase the uh, gdp of india so what if uh, people have in employments to do uh, stall and uh, then what what is problem and yes right so according to you susma uh, increasing gdp is more important than our citizens health no no i i uh, i mean uh, my opinion is not that uh, people don't have a matter uh, health because uh, i want to say that uh, if people are aware aware about the their health and if they they don't become an obsession of street food only uh, they eat uh, eat street food when they have a lo- lack of time and when we, they they are going to uh, for important work and they ha- don't have a time to make a food so that when they can use they can u- eat not a it becomes obsession like as you said uh, gdp and all so let me tell you one thing uh, consumption of junk food is uh, we can see in youth so much they consume so much junk food so as we can see uh, like in junk food they use a msg a kind of chemical with enhancing the taste so uh, this chemical is very harmful for the girl child how i uh, i will tell you it effect to the girl's uterus and it is affecting the whole birth process so according to me gdp is not more priority of us uh, birth process is a more priority great point great point uh i agree with your points but uh, like you see the as um, you see the kya fir isko tobacco tobacco and uh, these types of uh, products uh, like alcohol tobacco and uh, pa- pan masalas whatever it is harms so more than uh, more than fast food but india cannot ban this because of, because of the main earning of uh, their tax their uh, factories of tax so sometimes we can uh, no, totally totally ban is not a so- solution we can uh, Uh, we can use a uh, implementation of those schemes who, who provides the uh, skills to those persons and they can better they make a better and uh, better food and hygienic food How it can, can make better they if move with wheat flour or refined flour as the 
no no if if you have a knowledge i i don't say that uh, you you are become an obsession addicted uh, addicted of a fast food i mean uh, street food if uh, when you have not time and you want to eat you are, you are hungry then you can eat it's not a obsession and i think it not it will not harm is everyone health is in no, their own hands first of all street food sellers are not said that you are, are come to my stall and uh, eat if you are if you are eating the food you sh your health is in their your uh, your hands you should do yoga uh, do gym and all that things to improve your health calories but so you accept your street food no actually no i can say No, I cannot say that uh, street food is harmful. No, not every. Uh, you you, 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 you said restaurant food is healthy. No, we we never said that restaurant food is healthy. Then how is street food is harmful? Like as you said, as you said, no vendor uh, are going to tell you come on my uh, uh, like uh, shop and eat. As uh, Susma mentioned, like uh, our GDP is depend on the street food. How GDP depend on street food? Can you explain? <laughs> As Susma said that it's increase our GDP. I wanted to tell him that we spend near about 30 percent of our total income. Love it means. We invest 30% of our GDP in medicine. 30% of our GDP in medicine. And we earn from junk food only near about 15% in our GDP. It increases near about 15% our GDP. If you are increasing 30% and decreasing, you increasing, if you are increasing 15% and 30% decreasing. Okay. What about you? What about it? Let's listen to Sanaya Captain. Okay. So as Amrita is saying that uh, if street, uh, the stalls that are uh, on street uh, the one who eats or uh, that's a totally affect on a uh, birth giving a uh, like that uh, uh, that totally affect on a girl so if a person who want uh, if you uh, ban the street food so uh, like a per okay if it is banned so what uh, what do you think uh, they stop eating uh, junk food or uh, they go in restaurant and then they can eat so that's also uh, a kind of junk food so you can can't stop them and you are also uh, the uh, what about then uh, what about the labor who are dependent on the street food poors you can also say poors to those who are stopping exactly if they stop fine they will start going into the restaurant in restaurant they the can also they eat can, yes exactly. they can get uh, aditya 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 Sir, but a student in school, he get 10, 20 rupees regular and he go in fast food, the, this call, thela. There are so less amount of food, children go there because they got 20, 10 rupees in regular. Oh, but he, it's a good thing, no? But if fast food is not... Uh, there to children what can eat? what they eat. Great Parents one. give the food. Manjis. Sir, suppose we are traveling, so we don't have so much time. So what you will eat? What where you will go for it? Which you prefer, restaurant or street food? Restaurant, sir. Restaurant? Restaurant, street food, because if street food is there, is to, I'm telling about a student, if a small, is 
child is eating food because he is not having more money and you are tra- traveling you go and is in your right okay no sohani cannot speak exactly he is trying to say that you know a baby gets a baby gets with his sir i think sir i think in a, in a restaurant a lot of officers they can check but it is not possible on every street right yes yes sir it's not possible on every street Authority cannot take care. Maybe an authorized hotel and restaurant can be checked. Check. Right? Yes, But sir. How will an authority? I mean, office did not go to the vendors because every day it opens, every day it closes. Very good question. It will be well, right from this team. Not every time officers check uh, uh, restaurant food. Like uh, uh, they check only. Uh, in a week in no in a year oh no so something that the chick exactly they check actually. in a week in a month yes sir there are different department actually for the food absolutely and there are different officers for the food checking absolutely i know why only the food and everything so I, how can you say that i know but but they check only in a year uh, and uh, uh, also inform uh, many kind of uh, crops in uh, inform the hotel ki we are uh, coming so uh, they yes, are uh, prepared by saying this one you are insulting the current yeah. government that yes sir the government that is the system that is the system actually okay. by the way don't take the name of party it's the system so uh, it's a street food ban or not ban it's a system problem also why we can debate right. <laughs> yes. If we just imagine the long here. If it, if it's a system problem, then why we are sitting here? Exactly be- same question, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a com- wow. you are I mean it's a completely system yeah, problem. It's not a it, it, because <laughs> one minute. <laughs> it's a system health problem. It's not your health problem. You never ill. You never ill. <laughs> You always comfortable. Sometimes you also ill. This is not a good behavior. Wait, wait. You will answer. You will answer. But let me tell you, this is not a good idea. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen who are watching, we are so sorry for that. Exactly. Sometimes you know they become more exactly. Uh, he he doesn't have education. Absolutely. But we should not say like that. He is learning. No problem. But please respect women. Otherwise. But now it is. By the way, I cannot say anything. Sir? Okay, ma'am. Sorry. Yeah. Arru, wait. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> This is a kind of debate. Okay. Yes, sir. Try to have euphemism in your talks. Whatever she is saying, if you don't agree, but don't say. How can you say? <laughs> it's not okay, man. Okay. By the way, we will not go to you guys. You kind guys start fighting. <laughs> Judge Sahab is trying to say something. Sir. <laughs> What a smile he has. You wanna say? Okay. Son. Son. <laughs> in the state food uh, when uh, it comes to talk about uh, fast food uh, as uh, sunny was saying that uh, fast food uh, is uh, also both um, place uh, restaurant and uh, streets but uh, uh, but uh, i want to say that uh, uh, in in the street uh, fast food uh, is already dusted and restaurant is not uh, dusted uh, fast food and uh, and uh, street uh, food vendors uh, is, uh, Uh, are is are, sp- are spreading uh, also garbage and uh, by its uh, by its uh, uh, also cause uh, many disease removing a garbage is does is a civic authority it is it, it, it is a responsibility of a civic authority like a means um, municipal corporation etc so it is not a big issue i think so that mean we can throw garbage in anywhere no it's their responsibility 
मैनेजमेंट इज नॉट एक्चुअली द गवर्नमेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी वी आर सिटीजन ऑफ आवर कंट्री सो आवर कंट्री इन आवर हैंड वी हैव टू मैनेज ऑल थिंग्स सो इफ योर हाउस होल्ड इज प्रोड्यूसिंग गार्बेज एक्चुअली if your household is uh, producing garbage and the author- uh, civil authorities are not coming to pick the garbage where will you uh, say, uh, throw that garbage it's the civil authorities who yeah, are is. responsible for the management of that uh, garbage so it's the actually in case of vendors they actually try to clean that area actually like in uh, in india they first they when they start their uh, Uh, thelas and act, they actually clean that area put water that don't anything uh, like uh, uh, happen and uh, the whatever the garbage actually have they actually started the uh, keeping the dustbins actually so uh, the civil authority should uh, actually uh, help them to uh, pick that garbage uh, and to manage that thing they cannot do that at that time Yeah, I'm partially agree with you. They manage uh, dustbin and all, but not most, like not all the hawkers did. So uh, th- that's our point. And second point of mine is the uses of plastic. The uses of plastic, the vendors use most. So what about it? What do you say about it? actually uh, the plastic is not the only uh, thing that they provide like nowadays they are using uh, uh, biodegradable leaves actually uh, like some have a kasta and something and, and they are providing in a paper or a paper uh, or a, uh, actually uh, paper uh, your point forward paper is good for our head the pre- the we are not we are not i am not uh, talking about there is an unprinted papers actually like brown but they use but they are also using the uh, leaf actually the uh, like banana. they are banana leaf and different kind of leaves are like they have a uh, special uh, things to uh, you know like replaceable things and they are biodegradable actually as well and they are cheap actually you know uh, in different uh, countries they use uh, plastic cups and we have a kullar that's biodegradable we have options you have option you can choose where you should go actually that doesn't doesn't mean that should be banned this should be banned you have option you have authority where if you, that some uh, vendor is unhygienic you just have option that you cannot go to uh, him and uh, if you uh, uh, if you tr- saying that uh, uh, everything should be banned on the street that uh, will be create a actually big problem absolutely okay let's listen to some other other people exactly right you guys are speaking so much I think we should let other people speak, speak. as well, right? Hey, dear diseased people, come on, man! <laughs> hey, you are looking at you are eating your junk food too much. Okay, I think we should go to Mr. Kumar. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, 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 okay. Mr. Akash is trying to say something. Come on! I know this Sairi. You know this Sairi something? Automatic. Someone like you. This Sairi is very famous. Okay. Hello everyone. Good evening. My name is Nathas Kumar. Street food not my opinion. Street food not. Street food. Street food not banned. Any any people no survive. Any people no survive restaurant. One one person. Earn in earn one person earn in money labor four hundred four hundred. It is uh, no survive for restaurant. It is uh, street food. Ah. Street <laughs> ah. street street yes. food. Great point. Yes. 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 Street food uh, forty uh, rupees uh, uh, survive for uh, survive for. Uh, Full, full is too much. Yes. Rupees are not. It is uh, in uh, government. Uh, uh, government uh, any student. Uh, government uh, any student. Uh, entrepreneur, entrepreneurial, entrepreneur, entrepreneur. 
Yes. Uh, street food uh, GDP increase. Yes. So, as he said, he earned like 400 per day and street food easily available on 40 rupees and he eat street food on 40 rupees then he spent 800 on medicine. So, you want to get them uh, like uh, they should starve and die, like they should not eat and they should starve and die. It's better that they eat actually. If they eat, you will actually you have you are hungry and you are hungry and you have 40 rupees and so so you will not spend and uh, that uh, money on uh, street food and you will starve and die. Listen to Bhadal. If you eat, then you die. If you not eat, then yeah, you yeah, also die. They can eat fruit as well. They can eat food uh, fruit as well. Can eat fruits as well? Fruits. Yes, great point. Fruits, fruits. There are, fruits. Fruits. There are also uh, fruit salads on the street actually. That also uh, uh, a kind of a street uh, food. Your point was that they will starve and die? That's what I'm saying. Uh, you're saying they will not starve, right? They will eat fruits, exactly. But fruits are not much affordable. Exactly. And, uh, I don't mind like they uh, can only eat food and they, they will uh, live their life. How can you get... In 50 rupees, you can uh, afford one plate chowmin, but in 50 rupees, you can not afford one frozen of banana. It is, but it totally not depend upon fruit. Because our body needs uh, 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 too, too, too many vit uh, vitamins and uh, salts. Absolutely! So you never go at your home? <laughs> like if you if you are student or if you are employee you are you know about your schedule so prepare your food according to your schedule again repeated your point uh, if uh, any uh, one is bachelor then how he made food if no one if no one are uh, not make uh, if no one have talent to making their own food if no have if no have any mother on their home and not having a uh, Absolutely. Listen to Sonaya. Sonaya was trying to say something. The point is true. Okay, so uh, everyone can't buy food firstly and you can't uh, even live for eating food only. Uh, you also need something uh, to eat and uh, street food not only mean that uh, chowmin, or chowmin or momos or burger. It is also, uh, you can eat South Indian food like it, it, Italy dosa and, uh, and many things are there. So it is not totally upon chowmin or pasta or Italy. So uh, you can't live only you, you, uh, eating fruits. Wonderful points. Satyajit is trying to say something. Come on. So as he said that our our body parts need a lot of things like calcium, protein, and etc. etc. So I, then I suggest it then we we cannot achieve these all facts in street food, then I suggest you, you need to drink milk so that you can achieve all the protein, calcium, and etc. What is this, man? But only drinking, drink, uh, milk, milk, you can't. You, you have to eat something because like fulfill your stomach so you can eat. No. So you are saying that uh, the on the street food, they are uh, whatever they are making actually, they are not from the field like they have they use potato they use veg, uh, other kind of vegetables and all things capsicum, capsicum capsicum they you actually get that things in that uh, quantity actually and uh, you actually they are using that uh, things which are already in the market like you purchase flour flour you purchase oil you everything you purchase you purchase from the market they are not getting like they are producing something from their uh, from the, their household. Let's so take, let's take exactly you know we are so busy in talking about that only. Let's take opinion by another person. Maybe see or he will have another opinion and I think Soumya has not given her opinion, right? Have you, so do you have any uh, I mean points to say about absolutely you can say and you guys people get really awesome questions. 
सर इफ इफ सम वन इज एडमिटेड इन आ हॉस्पिटल और ओनली वन डेज और और टू डेज और देर होम इज इज आउट देयर होम इज आउट ऑफ स्टेशन आउट ऑफ टाउन वी कैन सी दैट देन वी हैव ओनली वन ऑप्शन टू टू टेकिंग ए स्ट्रीट फूड हु इज विथ पेशेंट Yeah. Means when we have compulsions, we have to eat exactly. This is trying to say. Yeah. Not only this compulsion, like Mr. Manjeet so, was trying. And to in cheese. Yeah. Also, yeah. also, yeah. also, 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 In restaurant you maybe you paid. Uh, it is affordable. No no no. Like Sanaya was trying to say here, the thing you are stopping them to sell, the same thing can also be sold in a restaurant. Yes. So why are you allowing them to go in a restaurant? Same thing is going to be sold exactly in the restaurant. You are actually answering by yourself. This is not acceptable. साउथ इंडियन फूड ऑल्सो फर्मेंटेड लाइक साउथ इंडियन आर ईटिंग फॉर द सेकेंडली सेंचुरी दे आर नॉट गेटिंग यू नो सिक एंड यू आर सेंग दैट फॉर फर्मेंटेशन यू विल गेट सिक दैट नॉट अ पॉइंट बाई द फर्मेंटेशन इज गुड बैक्टीरिया शुड बी सर सुना सेंग यू कैन साउथ इंडियन फूड्स एंड अदर लाइक इट बाटी चोखा एंड एक्सेट्रा फॉर द हेल्दी बट आई वॉन्ट टू से द क्वालिटी ऑफ ऑयल एंड द रॉ आइटम ऑफ फूड्स दैट आर यूज इन कुकिंग कुकिंग साउथ इंडियन फूड्स दैट आर नॉट सूटेबल फॉर हेल्दी बट हु बट द क्वालिटी ऑफ ऑयल एंड द आइटम ऑफ फूड्स दैट आर दैट आर यूजिंग दैट आर यूजिंग फॉर कुकिंग इन 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 द कुकिंग बाटी चौखा और फूड्स क्वालिटी ऑफ स्पाइसिस बट आई थिंक इफ द पीपल विच आर कुकिंग ऑन द स्ट्रीट एंड यू वर यू आर ईटिंग ऑन द स्ट्रीट सो द सेम थिंग इज ऑल्सो गोइंग ऑन द रेस्टोरेंट Yes. Because they are also mixing, and they are mixing the more chemical to make chemical to make it more tastier Absolutely. than the street food. Because they want their restaurant uh, to uh, grow. 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 So Absolutely. that's why street food can't mix that much chemical. Absolutely. Also one thing, and also one thing, they prepare fresh food, and the uh, in restaurants, uh, they they also give a stale food. If uh, they have uh, making a lot of food, they are uh, refris. The they are refrigerate in uh, fridge and uh, giving to in the morning breakfast. <laughs> it is like that. Hello, Arpita. It is a Ghangor Vijayanti for you guys. Are you speaking anything? She is saying that someone is putting the fridge and then you are eating the food of one month. No. Yes. Are you yes. 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 It is. Food is talking yes. about. It is also in. Um, in big uh, restaurants like itc grand taj it is uh, don't insult that city <laughs> don't insult exactly i'm sorry to sorry 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 yeah sorry by the way absolutely you should not insult in sorry sorry so uh first of all as we cast said like uh, साउथ इंडियंस आर ईटिंग फॉर सेंचुरी टू सेंचुरी साउथ इंडियन फूड्स बट वाई इट इज हार्मफुल फॉर अस सो चाइनीज ऑल्सो ईट नूडल्स सो वाई नूडल्स हार्मफुल फॉर अस वी लाइक वी आर नॉर्थ इंडियन वी आर ईटिंग सो मच स्पाइसेज बट इन इन आवर कंट्री 
देर आर सो मेनी रीजन दे आर नॉट ईटिंग दैट मच स्पाइसिस एंड दे डोंट दे कान डाइजेस्ट दैट मच स्पाइसिस इट इज डिपेंड टू रीजन टू रीजन वाट दे ईट दे आर दे आर हैबिचुअल एंड वाट वी ईट वी आर हैबिचुअल actually you can control the you can tell the vendor and they will control the spices really? exactly you will say that don't make that much spicy i am not that uh, you know comfortable with spices you can actually ask them and they will do it very uh, you know uh, happily actually like as we take an example of chola bhatura they make chola in front of you guys according to me it is not they make chola from their houses so how can you control spices on that if you are uh, you are uh, like uh, you are not uh, it uh, used to uh, uh, eat uh, so much spices you can avoid it you can have less spices uh, food which are also available on the streets actually exactly uh, exactly this is our team's point that if street food is harmful for us why we eat we eat fruits as well there are so many fruit juices so uh, what do you say actually uh, spicy doesn't mean mean it's uh, unhealthy actually some people uh, uh, digest that very easily and if you are not uh, used to digest that very spicy food you just avoid actually why it should be banned Yeah, like uh, they have they have actually like we uh, that shop they use very much spices and that for very spicy people and uh, they they used to uh, use so much chili powder and something like that and people who love that much spices actually go there and if you don't like that food you can avoid and you can go anywhere else absolutely anyone else no you cannot see that i think sir before the 100 years ago when the street food were not available then people also survive and they i think they live 100 years and 110 years but from the street food are available we eat and just our hair become white in only 20 year and our skins also shrink in only 40 year and we also die in only 60 year he said uh, 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 before 100 years um, the uh, yeah, i think he said before 100 years the people are living uh, the people are uh, healthy and all about that uh, nowadays a pollution level is on the high and uh, before 100 years there is not a technology that much and uh, weather is also not that kind of yes. Yes. it is not just it is just can i it is just not about junk food now street the food is high, so we need to remove this street so street food so what about the unemployment so you should ban street food you are not taking it is not getting polluted by gas okay yeah is correct okay we move let's come to conclusion exactly yes sir Should we ban? Is that exactly? No, no, no. Should we ban everyone? Yes, sir. From the heart, who is saying that yes, it should be banned? No, no. Raise your hand. From the heart, who is saying it should be banned? Yes, it no. should be banned. No, no, no. By the way, doing anything so much is bad for you. Is harmful for you. If you sit down here for ten hours. is going to be harmful for you somebody will say like oh no somebody will be standing taking the take of the wall <laughs> and somebody will be walking the class exactly so you should not eat exactly quite in the habitualized way but yes if there is a compulsion then you can eat because you need to think about this absolutely pehle pet puja absolutely by the way so thank you very much ladies and gentlemen who all are just watching here on youtube and facebook as well so it was a kind of debate i think for the first time we had like this debate right so i'm very happy the way you conveyed your message
In the last, I would like to tell you, whenever you sit down for actually having arguments on any specific topic, try to convey a message. When somebody speaks, come on, try to make him speak what actually you want to listen. And it's kind of argument, sir, the thing you're saying, okay, that is fine, but can you elaborate it in well way so that we can get a message? Try to let that person give message and try to... Try yourself to give a great message. There should be a kind of message. Because what is the meaning of communication? Communication is all about having the art to, to let somebody understand very well about you. When you have the art of communication skill, it means that you actually run everything quite well. Whether it is your family or your business. When you have a great communication skill, you actually run everything quite well. So it was great. Thank you very much for actually watching ladies and gentlemen here and here exactly i'd like to say that you did well job today but yes conclusion i'd like to say that don't go over anything don't go over exactly if you go over you will be found in any hospitals apollo or any balampur hospital right so we'll see you tomorrow everyone at the same time thank you very much bye bye